Uh, my name is Cormac McGuinness, and I'm here to talk to you in this presentation about the uh, physical sciences in Trinity College Dublin. So, the physical sciences in Trinity College Dublin is an entry route to three degrees in physics, physics and astrophysics, and nanoscience. What is physics? Well, we can start with the atoms, and here we show at the very top uh, the spectrum of hydrogen. And the spectrum of hydrogen can only be interpreted using quantum physics. So our knowledge of the wave functions of hydrogen uh, gives us the foundations for modern physics. Modern physics has now evolved to include uh, our explorations into the elementary particles of uh, nature, such are the quarks, which form the constituents of the protons and the neutrons. So these are all topics which are encompassed by physics, as are lasers and semiconductors from the very first uh, silicon semiconductor to all of the more modern semiconductors we would have in our phones, our computers, etc. And our phones and computers are also uh, making use of all sorts of nanomaterials, and uh, nanomaterials and nanoparticles are part of physics, as is energy, as are structures such as solids, uh, crystalline structures, uh, glasses, foams, and so even here with this uh, picture of a, a foam arrangement. Uh, obviously, physics then encompasses the, the grand scale of the universe, so the universe, galaxies, stars and planets, and physics also encompasses new technologies and new ideas such as uh, potential for quantum computers. So that's what physics is or what physics can be. So why study physics? So the question you should ask yourself is, do you want to find out what we know so far about how our world works at the most fundamental levels? Find out how this knowledge has been or can be applied to make our lives better. Learn how you can make new discoveries and bring forth new understanding in, this, in these areas. Learn how you can apply science and physics in particular to develop a sustainable lifestyle for all of us here on this planet. Or do you simply enjoy physics? If so, then the physical sciences course at Trinity College Dublin is the right course for you to enter in order to get a degree in physics, or a degree in physics and astrophysics, or a degree in nanoscience. Parallel to this, there is a, an entry course for theoretical physics. So all of these courses, both the physical sciences course and the theoretical physics course are shown in this diagram here. In the physical sciences course, you take physics as your core subject and, of course, the foundation mathematics, which will go with it. And then uh, in years one and two, you augment this with courses from other science subjects. And then in years three and four, you progress onwards to take either a degree in physics or in physics and astrophysics or in nanoscience. So in years one and two, the core physics and mathematics are the foundation for all of these three different degree options. So in years one and two, you'll spend one third of your time studying the core physics, one third of your time studying the supporting core mathematics, and a third of your time uh, taking uh, modules in subjects such as chemistry or geosciences or in the biological sciences. So what's in the first two years of the course? The core topics explore the foundations of all physics, inclusive of our knowledge of light, electromagnetism, special relativity, uh, classical mechanics, as well as quantum mechanics, uh, the thermodynamics, uh, materials, nuclear physics, astrophysics, waves and optics, as, as well as a, a range of other uh, materials uh, which are core to the foundations of physics. In this first two years, you'll also learn uh, a variety of experimental methods through our laboratories, data analysis, basic coding in a computer language called Python, communication, and statistics. We will be taught through a combination of lectures, tutorials, uh, e-learning, experimental laboratories, as well as group projects. Of course, the mathematics courses are uh, there to develop the essential language in which we can describe physics. And then there are open modules in chemistry, geosciences, or the biosciences. 
So then, after the first two years, you choose one of three final degree options for years three and four. Physics, as a degree, will give you the broadest training in experiment, theory, and computation. It spans all of the physics, from nanoscience, semiconductors, to photonics, to galaxies, to nuclear, high energy physics, magnetism, quantum mechanics, quantum optics, as well as energy. Or you can choose to specialize in physics and astrophysics, which will retain the core physics topics, but then also have specific astrophysics modules beyond those which are in the uh, core physics course. So that including more information on stars, planetary formation, galaxy formation, cosmology, and more. Then there's the nanoscience degree course. This is a combined uh, degree course uh, combining the physics and chemistry and how this relates to materials and to nanomaterials in particular. So nanomaterials, future materials, nanoscience, nanoparticles, nanodevices, polymers, photochemistry, electrochemistry, photonics, and much, much more. Okay, looking again at years one and two and how the course is structured. So as I said, there's in each year there's 60 credits. And as I said, the core is physics and mathematics. And so 40 of your credits or two thirds of your course in the first year and in the second year is physics and mathematics. And then you take other modules, uh, 20 credits of other modules in other science subjects, such as chemistry, geosciences, or biology. This is the structure of year one. Year two is very similarly structured. And again, with uh, some choices of open modules in chemistry, geosciences, or biological sciences. How do we progress from the first two years into the three degrees that are possible through the physical sciences course? Three degrees are again physics, physics and astrophysics, and nanoscience. In fact, there are five patterns of module choices among the third subject that you take in the first two years. So going from year one to year two, there are five different patterns, all of which allow you to go forward to degrees in physics or to degrees in physics and astrophysics. However, if you want to go forward to a degree in nanoscience, you must take chemistry as the third uh, subject in your first two years within the physical sciences course. And only chemistry will allow you to go forward into nanoscience, but any other choices will allow you to go forward into physics or into the physics and astrophysics degree. And of course, if you take chemistry, you can still go into physics or physics and astrophysics as well. So what's in years three and four? In years three and four, all of the degrees share a common core of advanced level foundational topics in physics, such as more advanced quantum mechanics, statistical physics and statistical thermodynamics, condensed matter physics, as well as specialist options. What are these options? These options include topics ranging from high energy physics to nanoscience, quantum condensed matter physics, magnetism, photonics, nonlinear optics, semiconductor physics and devices, computational physics, nuclear physics, electronics, superconductivity, instrumentation, stellar and galactic structure, cosmology, planetary and space science, quantum information, nanostructures, polymer, polymers, energy science, amongst others specific to the degree specialization. There is a wide range of choices in the physics degree in particular, but then much more narrow choices available in either physics and astrophysics or in the nanoscience degrees. All three degrees have in their final year a capstone final year research project where you will be full time for nine weeks uh, in the laboratory or with a research group full time with a top research group either here in Trinity College Dublin or with some of our academic partners across Europe as well as uh, North America uh, and in Asia as well. In your third year, as part of your education, there are Trinity electives. And the wide choice of Trinity electives can contribute to your broader education. What are these Trinity electives? What is the purpose of these? It's so that all of our graduates will have a common experience in terms of developing an understanding of the key societal challenges. And that's what all of these Trinity electives allow our physics graduates uh, to come to terms with the key societal challenges that they as graduates 
of Trinity College and as graduates of physics uh, will take away with them into uh, the wider world. So what about our physics degree? So in our physics degree, after you enter the doors of our physical laboratory in our Fitzgerald building uh, here on campus, then in the first two years and beyond, you'll be welcome to our laboratories and our lectures uh, and engage with our academic staff. In the first two years, of course, you will have foundational topics uh, such as the kinetic theory of gases, uh, as well as electromagnetism. And of course, these then evolve into statistical thermodynamics and more advanced uh, electromagnetism in later years. In later years, as well as in the first two years, you'll be introduced to topics such as astrophysics, and these can be developed further in the third year of the physics degree. But in the third and fourth year of the physics degree, then you'll also be introduced to nuclear physics, nuclear structure, and high energy physics, as well as then topics in uh, optical communications and lasers and quantum optics. Condensed matter physics, the theory and the experiments in terms of the behavior of uh, solids and materials and their electronic structure, and of course, magnetism, as well as uh, topics such as superconductivity, uh, energy materials, and thin film growth, as well as key topics such as nanoscience are incorporated into the physics degree, and thus it ranges from the elementary particles to materials to nanoscience to stars and galaxies, all within the physics degree. What about the physics and astrophysics degree? In the physics and astrophysics degree, the core topics common to all of our degrees are still taken by students. But in addition to that, we have all of the uh, specialized astrophysics courses, such as uh, stars and galaxies, uh, cosmology, planetary science, space science, as well as the to topics of astrophysical instrumentation. And within the physics and astrophysics degree, there is the opportunity to take a capstone uh, final year research project in astrophysics. Obviously, in the astrophysics degree, in the softer years, there isn't any opportunities to take nanoscience topics or not all of the possible uh, materials physics uh, topics. If you're interested in nanoscience and in material science, then the nanoscience degree option in the physical sciences course is definitely the one for you. Pictured here is the Nanoscience Institute on the Trinity College Dublin campus called CRAN. Within the nanoscience degree, then you'll be learning uh, topics such as uh, the topic which we call nanoscience available as a module within the physics degree, but then you'll be taking other specialized topics on polymers, uh, thin film growth, uh, advanced semiconductor devices, uh, photochemistry, uh, electrochemistry, uh, and so on. Uh, and as well as nanoscience characterization techniques. Your final year capstone research project will then be involved in uh, a research group in this area. So why physical sciences in Trinity College Dublin? Well, we have both a tradition of scientific excellence and a long history of contributions to physics. Three centuries of physics have occurred on campus in Trinity College Dublin from the first published lectures in physics by Richard Helsham and, of course, our famous Nobel laureate, uh, Ernest Walton, uh, who received the 1951 Nobel Prize in Physics. Our tradition of scientific excellence continues with many of our uh, staff, our academic staff, receiving international prizes or national prizes or in receipt of European Research Council awards. And so there's a very vibrant activity uh, in our community in Trinity College Dublin in the School of Physics. In fact, our very much our, our teaching is research-led, whether it's in the nanosciences or in physics and photonics and uh, computational physics or in astrophysics as well, where your capstone research project may well take place with some of our uh, highly skilled researchers in these areas. As I said, I mentioned photonics, computational physics, and then also other uh, X-ray spectroscopic measurements, such as uh, from myself, uh, who, who works at international synchrotron radiation facilities. So Trinity's physics community is a very large community. It's very active. It's very diverse. 
We hope that you would like to join the biggest physics programme in Ireland, and certainly we would like to think the best as well. When you get your degree, it'll be a very happy day. We'll be very happy to give you the results of your final degree. We'll be very happy to see you graduate, potentially go on to win prizes, or to progress further into a PhD degree. And we'll be looking at your career as you go on. You may be interested in more careers information uh, arising from graduates of our physics degrees. So in a continuously changing world, the skills and the graduate attributes from all Trinity graduates, but particularly the physics skills uh, in our degrees provide the skills necessary for lifelong learning. Complex problem solving, critical thinking, and creativity. These are some of the key skills that our physics graduates will obtain. And in particular, we will also have, uh, as a physics graduate, a, a very good understanding of complex systems. You'll be skilled in advanced mathematics and skilled in interpreting data. So all of this is vital in preparing our graduates for this modern world. And we think that you'll be well prepared if you take your physics degree with us. So that's an open invitation. Come one of our physical sciences graduates. For more information, go to the relevant website, uh, which is shown here. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you.